It's been sort of quite positive mood music for the last couple of hours about the possibility of the truce between Israel and Hamas being extended. We are now hearing via the Reuters news agency uh, through Qatar that they have agreed to a two-day extension. This is coming from the uh, Qatari Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, there is the tweet. The state of Qatar announces as part of ongoing mediation, an agreement has been reached to extend the humanitarian truce for an additional two days in the Gaza Strip. Uh, also, Reuters are also uh, reporting that they have also had word from Hamas that it has agreed with Qatar and Egypt uh, to this two-day extension. Uh, there is a press statement issued by Hamas that's come to us via Reuters, which says, the Islamic resistance movement Hamas ha announces that it has been agreed by the brothers in Qatar and Egypt to extend the temporary humanitarian truce for an additional two days under the same conditions as the previous truce. So that is the latest that we're getting uh, out of uh, Gaza, out of uh, the Qataris via the Reuters news agency. We haven't heard yet uh, from Israel whether or not Israel has confirmed it as well. But uh, in the last uh, couple of moments, we've heard out of Qatar where talks have been continuing mediation talks uh, between Israel and Hamas that they have now apparently agreed to extend the truce by two days. That has been confirmed by Hamas, still waiting for an official confirmation from Israel. Let's bring in Dominic Waghorn, our international affairs editor, who is in Jerusalem for us. Uh, good news for the families, good news uh, for the people inside Gaza as well. Yeah, we're getting this from the Qataris, Qatar as you say, but also Hamas saying this. The Israelis have not confirmed it, but the Qataris have been very careful about what they've said throughout this crisis, and they have been entirely reliable in what they've said publicly at each stage of developments in terms of their negotiations about the hostages. And what they're saying tonight is the state of Qatar announces as part of the ongoing mediation, an agreement has been reached to extend the humanitarian truce for an additional two days in the Gaza Strip. So the details aren't really clear yet, but if they're saying that, then I am, I'd be very surprised if these Israelis came out and said that it's not the case. So it looks as though an extension has been agreed by all sides with Egyptian and Qatari negotiation and the Americans in the background as well. So what that means is we're now coming to the end of the fourth day of ceasefire. We're expecting to see the Israeli hostages released from Gaza in the coming hours, fairly imminently, I think, because it's getting later into the evening now. We're not entirely clear as to the number of those hostages that are going to be released tonight, uh, but three times as many we, we, we expect Palestinian prisoners will be then released um, into the West Bank and also into East Jerusalem uh, here. And then what we're going to see is something similar happening the next two days. So each day Hamas will need to come up with a list of hostages it's going to release. Uh, if they've agreed this, then that means Hamas have found at least another 20 women and children in Gaza that they can exchange in return for Palestinian prisoners um, and two days more uh, ceasefire, because the Israelis said publicly, at least, they wouldn't be open to this idea unless Hamas could find another 10 each day. Hamas had said they only had 50 uh, female and, uh, and child hostages in their captivity, but the Qataris have said all along for weeks now that they believe that at least 40 more women and children were being held by other groups uh, in Gaza, and that's in line with what we saw on the day. Palestinian journalists filming people who weren't Hamas figures later in the afternoon, taking hostages in various kibbutzes and dragging them across the border. So I think there's been a process where Hamas has found out where they are, has made very clear to the groups holding them that they need to bring them in so they can be part of this exchange. There may have been a quid pro quo as part of that process, but it looks as though Hamas is now at least in a position to say it can offer at least 10 hostages uh, each day in return for another day's ceasefire each day. So that extends the reprieve, the ceasefire, the truce by another day, another two days, taking that to six days. And that is very good news, particularly for the civilians in Gaza as well as the hostage families, of course, because it means that more fuel can get in, more aid, more medical supplies and more food. Um, and then there is now the prospect, of course, at the end of those two days of Israel then resuming its military operations.